In this video, I'm going to share with you activities that you should avoid during pregnancy for the safety of yourself and your baby. And number four might surprise you, so stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Orissa, and I'm a prenatal yoga teacher and coach, and I am so glad that you're here. I want to disclaimer this video by saying that this is not medical advice. You should definitely talk to your primary healthcare provider about your situation. Every pregnancy is unique. So please, if you are pregnant and you have not talked to your healthcare provider about exercise, yet this is your sign to go and talk to them <laughs> all right so what activities should you avoid during pregnancy number one is high impact activities so this could include contact sports like soccer uh, hockey basketball football etc because there's a risk of falling there's a risk of contact abdominal trauma that's not very good. So we want to avoid that. This also includes HIT, high intensity interval training, because these workouts are designed to like take you to your maximum level of effort. And when you're pregnant, you want to stay below your maximum level of effort. Okay. Number two is to avoid activities with a high risk of falling because um, that is not good for baby. So it kind of goes along with number one. Um, but this can include things like skiing, snowboarding, um, mountain biking, horseback riding, gymnastics. Those are just a few things because they all have a high risk of falling and that is not good. So we want to avoid that. Number three is best to avoid activities in really high temperatures or high humidity and or high humidity. So this could include like hot yoga or hot Pilates, best to avoid that. And just because you don't want to get your body temperature up too high because that's not very good for baby. And number four is to avoid activities at really high altitudes or the opposite, like low, low altitudes of scuba diving under the pressure of the ocean. We want to avoid that. Um, high altitudes, decreased levels of oxygen means less oxygen for baby. No good. So it's like above... I don't know, 2,500 meters or 8,000 feet, something like that. But again, talk to your healthcare provider and just avoid exercising at really high altitudes. Now, does this mean that exercise is bad during pregnancy or that you should avoid it altogether? Absolutely not. No, this is not what this means. Once you've been cleared by your doctor or healthcare provider, Regular exercise during pregnancy has a ton of benefits for you and baby and can be so, so, so beneficial. Um, so many benefits that I might have to make another video about it. So I'm not gonna get into all of them today, but once you've been cleared for exercise, like it is really, really good. So those are the main activities that you should avoid during pregnancy. Um, high risk of falling activities, contact sports, um, high impact, high temperatures, high humidity, and high altitude don't get high. <laughs> also, don't get high. Don't do drugs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is not an exhaustive list. As I mentioned before, please talk to your healthcare provider and always listen to your body. So there are plenty of safe activities that you can do while pregnant and that are really beneficial, like I said. So once you've been cleared for exercise, some really great things that you could start doing is things like prenatal yoga, prenatal Pilates, um, modified strength training, light jogging, walking, swimming, and there's more, I'm sure. Um, but those are some really great things to keep your body and mind really fit, healthy, and strong, and safe during your pregnancy journey. If you've already been cleared for exercise by your healthcare provider, and you wanna try a prenatal yoga class, I'll link one somewhere around here that you can try right now. Um, and I hope it feels really, really good for you. Remember to always listen to your body and also, <sighs> Remember that just because you're pregnant, it does not mean that you're weak or fragile. In fact, you are strong and you are powerful. You are growing life. And if you need to take rest, take rest. Please take rest. Like there's so much happening beneath the surface right now, <laughs> unseen. So much is happening. So if you're feeling tired or fatigued and you're like, exercise, are you kidding me, Arissa? I can't even get out of bed. Well, that's okay, that's okay. That is okay. What a journey. Every pregnancy is unique. Be on your journey and um, try to be unattached to how you think it should be and how it should look and just enjoy your experience of it. Food for thought. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content around pregnancy, yoga, mindfulness, and healthy living. Drop a comment below if you have an idea for a future video that you want me to do. And that's it. Have a beautiful day. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay safe. 
you are amazing. I'll see you soon.